20 kilohertz fuel program. Come on, baby, where's that? I just had a target there a second ago. Well, and some iron here. So. See if I can pull non ferrous out of here. My recovery speed's at 10. Fuel program. Actually, I'll, what I'll do is I'll go to park program, 15 kilohertz. My tone breaks at 7. It's always at 7. I have lots of hours on this machine, so I realized that right off the bat. Seven tone break is going to work the best. All right. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'll just dig it. Dig a big hole here. Right. <laughs> All over the place, man. All over the place, man. It's jumping. Big coin ball right there. You gotta be kidding me, man. I'm gonna freak out. What the hell is that, man? What the hell is that? Is a freaking ring? No, it's some copper wire. Right there. It's a copper wire loop. Look at that, man. Freaking awesome, man. Look at that. Smashed it. Smashed There's a plug right there that was in. Right there. Smashed it, man. Through the iron. Through the iron. Uh, some nails here. There's so many nails here. It's just crazy. It's absurd how many nails are here. And a non ferrous target. Right there. Right there. I've been by here so many times. I cannot tell you how many times I say that in my videos. I've been beating up this park for the last few months. I hunt a lot in this area around the horseshoes for the last 25 years, maybe 26 years. And I just always get non-ferrous targets out of here, right? The more nails that I pull out of here, the more good stuff I'm finding, right? There's another one right here. There's a lot of iron over here, right? You just never know what you're going to find. You never know what's going to pop out of this dump here, man. You just never know. See? Look at that. Big old crusty nail right there. See that? Why you dig the ifies out, man? And you and you pull you pull the nails out, especially in the spot that you found some really good stuff from. You you want to pull out the nails, right? You, you want to pull out the nails. It just increases your odds at finding better stuff in in a park like this. I found a lot of epic stuff in this dump right here. A lot of epic stuff, man. A lot of rings. You just gotta work at it, man. 
He's got to work at it. My recovery speed's at 10. Already starting to get tired. 11 inch coil. That'll be enough of that. All right. That would be enough of that. That'll be enough of that. Fifty years old, man. I, I can't be swinging around a big freaking coil like that around for more than a couple hours right, before I get um a little bit pissy, right? A little bit sassy. Right. And swing this thing around like a freaking madman. Start smashing freaking targets out of the ground. You want to see some freaking action? You want to see some freaking real action? Right here. All right, start smashing targets out, man. No messing around with a freaking big old boat anchor, right? All right. Oh. That up in the tree right there. Boom. Right there. Yes. Start smashing. Let's start smashing. You know what I'm Do this all day long, man. Right? That little no, I, I, I really don't want to be swimming that fast. I don't want to break my shoulder. Crank it up all the way. 30 gain all the way up. 15 kilohertz park program here. That's a sprinkler head right there. Sprinkler head.
four tone. See, my tone breaks at seven, so um, those lower uh, tones are going to be really strong on those nails and whatnot. Because I'm in six tone now. I'm not in sixty tone anymore. So that lower tone, well, that, those nails are going to false on me, right? They're going to false low tones. big piece of iron right here or it might be um falsing on the minerals in the ground too it's reading at 60 so it's gonna be something big deep 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 something very very deep here yeah just falsing on the minerals right something deep here something really big probably won't be able to get this one out I'll try it though. I shall try. Right there. It's a nail. Okay, let's go for it. You never know when this relic don't mind. You freaking never know what's about ready to pop out of the ground. Another nail right there. That's pretty much what it was. A couple nails. I don't know if you guys have hunted in hot soil before, but those nails false a lot more when you're in highly mineralized ground. Especially when it's really wet out, those nails really fall bad, man. Yeah, so I'm gonna get a lot of falsing. Because I'm my tone break is down so far, I'm, not, I'm in four tone. Smack something out over here. See, it's jumping around everywhere. Four tone, All right? Four tone. Crumbly soil here. Oh, come on, bring it on. In the relic dump, what am I gonna find in the relic dump today? Yeah, oh, come on, bring it on, man. Oh yeah. Probably some iron. <laughs> All right, that's mainly what I find in this relic dump anyway, is iron, I mean. And a big old water foil, look at that sucker, man. <laughs> oh man, big old chunk of foil, look at that. Nail. Mm, that 
let's see what else we got in there. Anything else in there? No, just some nails. Oh, screamer, right here. Screamer? Nope, can't pinpoint it. There's many reasons why I like a smaller coil too, is because I can pinpoint easier and I can dig a smaller hole so I know where even if I can't cannot pinpoint it very well with a small coil, I'm still gonna dig I'm still gonna try to dig that up. And with a smaller coil I can tell a lot better where that target's going to be and how deep it is. With the bigger coils it's a lot harder to determine that, so when I get iffy tones, it's a lot harder to find my targets because it's such a big coil. Right? The big coils struggle at finding uh, at pinpointing those shallower targets, right? I don't want to make a huge mess in the park here. Well, thank you for watching.